Hello, my hearties. Uh, dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClue. I thought I'd pop up and say hi to every single one of you. It's just before seven o'clock on Tuesday, the 24th of May. And I thought we'll have a quick pop up, just say hi to everybody, see what people are up to, if there's football on or any of that. There's Joel, dinkiest of dudes, Scotty. How are you, La? Joel, so lovely to have you with us. What an absolute joy and dinky do to you, the dinkiest of dudes to you, I say, Joel. Dinky do, hope you're well, Chris. How lovely to hear from you and a big dinky do to you as well. Uh, lots and lots of you joining us. Thank you very much for that. Follow me as soon as you come on because we have so much to get through and so little time to do it in. Little bit of argy bargy going on at the moment. Lots of new TikTok videos for you. Dinky do, I hope you are well. I am indeed. Always lovely to have you with us. There's Carol and there's Sander joining us as well. Welcome, 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 folks. Quick pop-up just to say hi to every single one of you. The wonderful J-Dog Gaming. Thank you, Scotty. It was my birthday yesterday. A very happy birthday to you, J-Dog Gaming. And uh, I hope you had a super day and that you're ready for a wonderful summer. A real top man. Fantastic. What do you think of my uh, new broadcasting equipment here? Are you impressed, I hope? Uh, I saw you in the public, Scotty. Yes, indeed, you perhaps did. A dinky do, old boy, Chris. How lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky do to you as well. Tremendous stuff. Uh, do follow me as soon as you come on. As I say, lots of new videos for you on the TikTok. So dinky do to you, Chris. I'm glad you could come and join us, and a very, very warm welcome. We'll not be up for long, but it's important that were there. Yes, sounds and looks great. Thank you, J-Dog, and thank you for all your encouragement and your technical know-how. That's the whole thing about it. What's for tea tonight, Scotty boy? Chris, I've had it. I've had the tea tonight with a little bit of ham for tea tonight. Very, very nice. Fantastic. And a little bit of grated mozzarella. Oh, you can't beat it. That's me finished all my exams. On to the long summer. J-Dog, you deserve a good break. Well done. Good for you and dinky do, I say. Um, saw you in the West End. That's where you saw me. No, that's not where you saw me. And you need to grow up. We don't do any of that rubbish on here because this is not for trolls. So we'll maybe send you down the Swanee because I think you got it wrong. There we are. A bit of a half weight there. Off he goes, down there, fantastic. That's fantastic, that's what it's all about. Uh, guys, remember, never, ever, 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 ever to troll Scotty McClue, or you'll just disappear like toast. Doon the swanee, lifetime ban, that's what it's all about. Hello, hello, ice cream. A lovely to have you with us. Guys, if you're watching right now, get following as quick as you possibly can. This is your big chance to follow so that we can build and build and build, because this is massive. Check out every single one of the Scotty McClue TikTok videos. They're all made with love for you. If you're not following, ask yourself why not. Ask yourself what is wrong with you. There we are, dinky-doo. Should you ring the doctor and say, um, I'm, 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 I haven't followed Scotty McClue, but I watch him all the time. Tremendous. That's what it's all about, I say. And a big dinky-doo to you. Hello. Hello, ice cream. How good to have you with us. And dinky-doo, I say. Watching Scotty McClue live, guys. We're up for a few minutes. And uh, we will say hi to every single one of you. Now, who have we got here? Lots and lots of interesting people joining us as we speak. Make sure you're following. Also, check out Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll see it. You just need to put it into your Google Scotty McClue YouTube, and you are on a winner, I say to you. Remember, we have the phone-ins, the big talk-ins, and you want to be part of that as well, because this is the world's top talk show. That's what it's doing on TikTok. Everybody with an internet connection should be following us right now. So if you haven't followed, ask yourself why. Ice Cream says, I'm from Alabama. Jazz girl, thanks for following. And dinky do. Faze, thank you for following. Will you be celebrating the Jubilee? Chris, will I be celebrating the Jubilee? You bet, la. Heck yes. Uh, heck yeah. <laughs> uh, I had cheeseburger and fries for dinner. Not terribly good health-wise, but uh, I know I believe they do them very well 
in Alabama. We like that. Are your fries very thin? There we go. Thank you do, my friend from northernmost Ireland. Greenleaf, how lovely to have you with us. Have you joined in the debates about Northern Ireland live on the TikTok videos? Fantastic. Get yourself on there. Scotty, any advice of the ladies? Yes. Be yourself and uh, make sure that they're being themselves as well. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do with the ladies, I say. Uh, share the live. Encourage everybody. Thank you so much. Can you find me a job, Scotty? Well, what is it you want to do? Knowing what you want to do is the first step to achieving it. That's what I say to you. Yes, indeed. There we are. Right, my big boy. How's it going, Ryan? How lovely to have you with us. And thank you do. Scotland is the best country in the world. Well, I've given you one or two pointers about Scotland, so make sure you have a right good look at it, guys. Very, very, very important. Now, who have we got here? Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Joe. Can you do impressions? I do a very good Scotty McClure. Apparently, I've been told it's a cracker. You can't tell them apart from the real thing. Was Scotty a player back in the day? Scotty is always a player. Can you say hi to my friend Mimi, please? A great wee country, says Joe. Oh, yes, it is. That Guys, get following as soon as you can. Very, very important. Always be following Scotty McLean big style because this is where it's at in the world right now. This is your hope for the future. This is what will help to make all the bad stuff go away is us all getting on here on TikTok. Scotty, always a player. Great answer. Absolutely. I'm currently trying to find a part-time job, struggling at the moment. Denied two jobs today, j Dog. These jobs were not for you if you were denied them. You just need somebody that spots your talent. Think around the internet side of things as well. You know, have a think about that. Uh, best things to come out of Scotland, Scotty McClure, Tunnock Carmel Wafers. Scotty, are you doing calls? Uh, we're not rigged for calls tonight, Kareem. I couldn't get on to that setup uh, for some strange reason. I don't know why, but we're not rigged for calls tonight. Uh, Scott, are you doing calls? Aye or no? Ryan, no, we can't. We don't have the facility up at the moment. But that's not to say we might pop up later and do some calls. There's a lot to talk about. Hi, Scotty. Sorry, I haven't been around for a while. Not at all. Not at all, Patrick from Barra. Lovely to have you with us. And come Rahau Mahaz in Barra. What's going on with the monkey box? Well, monkey box is a very, very old thing. Uh, you know, and I think you'll find that uh, it's not a huge threat. I hope they're not going to try and make it the next big thing. There we are. There's Kareem sending gifts. Bless you, Kareem. There's Kian or Kian. Hello, Scotty. How are you, Kian? Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Scotty for first independent Scotland Prime Minister. Keep on safe. You're such an angel. You really are. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, do. How are you tonight? Drew, we're amazing. I'll call Sunday, Scotty. Oh, sorry, I'll call Saturday, Scotty. Yes, Kareem, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, I've managed to lift off our call from the other night. Outstanding. And you should see that on the TikTok videos. Uh, guys, watch every single TikTok video. Thank you for my one and a half thousand likes. We've only been up for about uh, eight minutes or something. And thank you for your beautiful gifts, Kareem. Shout out to my brother, Jamie. It's his birthday. Absolutely, Jamie. Sent wishing bottle, mini speakers, football, GGs, tennis balls, a rose, TikToks, weights, a wishing bottle. Kareem, you are very, very, very kind and very generous. All you TikTokers are just spoiling Scotty McLuhan. So kind of you. So there we have it there. Now, who have we got here? Um, dinky do for Jamie. Yeah, don't start spamming us. We've done a dinky do for Jamie. End of spams. How many slices of bread do you own? None. Absolutely none. So there you have it. We're off the cards at the moment. That's what it's all about, I say to you. Uh, Kareem, I've just had a very interesting idea. You and I could do a face-to-face -face on the TikTok. 
How good would that be? Just amazing. That's outrageous. No, Hugh, you're outrageous. That's normal. There we are. Fantastic. Dinky do groints. Groints. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do from Scotty McClure. We're live on the big one right now saying hi to everybody. It's just, it's overwhelmingly good. Uh, two and a half thousand likes on the TikTok. Have you all followed me? Very important. I think you go to the top left, you click the plus sign, and you click follow Scotty McClure. I'm an outrageous. There we are. Dinky do. Fantastic. There we are. Well, we're very pleased to hear, Hugh, that you're outrageous. But I'm not sure we're into your chat or your handle. So we'll send you down the swanee with a lifetime ban. Woo! There we are. That's Hugh away. A curious question, Scotty. Are you a member of the Freemasons? Well, I don't think there's such a thing as a Freemason. I had a friend with a huge big country house. And he wanted to repoint some of his polished ashlars. And it cost £50,000 for the repointing. And that was uh, operative masons that came to do that. So there you are. So I don't think there's such a thing as a free mason. My grandfather was in the masons. Ah, right. <coughs> there we are. I think there's probably been a few grandfathers there. Uh, dinky do, lovely to have you all with us and a very, very warm welcome. So glad you could join us. Very much appreciated. Dinky do. Uh, yes, it's me. He's all smiles and laughs. There we go. Keep mom safe. Thank you for my likes. Guys, we're over 3,000 likes. How's that? Amazing. Scotty McClue always has a massive youth following. And I've said to the radio and television stations, do you know, do you not want the young people? You're not interested. You're not fancy putting McClure on for an hour on your telly station and seeing your figures go up. But no, answer came there, none. Uh, are you celebrating the Jubilee? I am. I was celebrating the Elizabeth line this morning. So congratulations to the Londoners. I meant the secret society, Scotty. Well, Mr. Monkey, I wouldn't know if it's a secret because nobody's told me. So how how would I know? There you are. You're looking handsome today, fellow. Dinky do. Absolutely tremendous stuff. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. We need follow, follow, follow. That's what it's all about. Thank you for all your lovely likes, three and a half thousand of them. You remind me of my granddad, Scotty. I love it. Stacy, your granddad must have been an absolute top man. There we are, or is an absolute top man. I hope he's with us. How's the Queen doing? Apparently she's doing extremely well, Rosen. There we are. I don't get to see her on a daily basis, but I think she's doing extremely well. She is 96, you know, and she's got her platinum jubilee, and she's just lost her husband, you know, well, a year ago. There we are. Greg, we don't talk about that because we have absolutely zero evidence one way or the other way, so we just don't talk about that. There we are. None of these things, because there's obviously going to be a lot of stushy. But, uh, you know, the man needs the right of reply, I say. Fantastic, and dinky-doo. And the Queen's obviously got a tremendous amount of time for her. Uh, there we are for him. And he for her. And that's what it's about, I say. Uh, Mac DeFeo, how lovely to have you with us. Honda Lane has just joined us. Come and follow us, guys. Very important to follow Scotty McClure. Do it right now. That would be amazing. Fantastic. I said to you. Everybody following Scotty McClure, is that you on the Kunso Juice, Chris? I'm always on the Kunso Juice, although I boiled up some lemons and some limes, and I've quaffed that. Not for the faint-hearted, but very good for you. Keeps up the vitamin C, you see. I love every part of the UK. I'd hate to see it ever break apart. What are your thoughts? Well, Project, you've got to be practical about it. I love every part of the UK as well, but there's no need for it to stay together under Westminster. You know, so it's not breaking apart. It's a question of the four countries recognizing that they are four separate countries. There's no such country as Britain. 
You know, it's a, it's a land mass. So it's Scotland, England, Ireland and Wales. So if they went their own way, they wouldn't be breaking apart. Scott, I need to tell you about Saturday with meeting Alex Salmon. Lovely, Kareem. Well, Kareem, you can come on live here. I don't know how you do it. I think you you uh, ask somebody will tell us. And you come on live. We're just approaching 4,000 likes. Tremendous stuff. What do you think of the local Scottish films and series Tune the Fat, Still Game, and Train Spotting? Well, Train Spotting is a classic. Uh, Chewing the Fat, I thoroughly enjoyed, Still Game. But I wouldn't like somebody to think that all Scots are like that. They do say Scotty McClue was the original inspiration for Still Game, with my flat cap on the radio and telly. I love that argument, Scotty. Scotland is its own country. Well, it is, Chris. I mean, it's always been its own country, but it got into this union 314 years ago and got the life and the money sucked out of it by greed, sheer greed. It was put together by Jiggery Pokery and Skull Duggery, by, um, by a Stuart monarch, Queen Anne, no less. Uh, so there you are. It's not actually an argument, Chris. It's just a fact. Scotland is a separate country, always has been, with the exception of the last 314 years. It's still a separate country, but it is in union with uh, with England and uh, Northern Ireland and Wales. I don't know how to do live chat in this. Kareem, I don't know what, go live with the host, something like that, duet with the host. I don't know. Guys, anybody know how you go live on TikTok? Uh, work together to benefit everyone. Westminster is corrupt. Well, I think we're seeing we're seeing that at the moment, aren't we? Uh, I don't think we have much faith in Westminster. But I would also say, what have I put to you that the Tory party had been hijacked by the present people and that the Brexit thing was wished upon you so that uh, the billionaires could avoid tax? Yes, what about that? Scottish rights? Absolutely. Exactly. Scotland's a lovely place, but not all Scots are like that. It's just a laugh. Yes, it's me. It's just a laugh. And what's the problem with that, I say to you? Uh, better together, Scotty. Well, not better together, Shug, from Scotland's point of view. From England's point of view and Northern Ireland and Wales, we're better together because we're subsidising them. But you're never, ever, 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 and it's been proven over the last 313 years, better together, just Scotland and England. Scotland does not benefit from the union one bit. It loses fortunes. So not better together there, I can tell you. Scotty, did you work in Red Rose? Of course I did. Boy, did I work on Red Rose. We loved it. Two fabulous, fabulous years. And dinky-doo, I say to you. Uh, now then, one or two trolls joining us. They will never learn. Guys, never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClure. Or you'll be lifetime banned. Uh, I, Scotland is its own country. Yes, it is. Gorbel's boy here. It's now called Rock FM. Yes, and is the other one still called Magic? Uh, Subsidising. I live in Wales, but I think we're better together. Well, yes, because Scotland's subsidising you. Of course, you're better together if you live in Wales. Time to go down the Swanee. Yes, absolutely. I think we could put a couple of people down the Swanee. We'll put Kelly down the Swanee. There's Kelly away down the Swanee for being daft. There we go. Uh, I mean, these people aren't up to having a chat on here anyway. Uh, today's Conservatives are a cabal, says Andrew. Who are you? Uh, I am me. Who are you? That's what I would say to you. Absolutely. Uh, we're watching on YouTube. Andrew, fantastic. Think you do. Uh, who have we got? Expect my request, please. Lord Justice of Glasgow. We always expect your request, sire. There we are. I'll keep the lights coming. The lights, we've got 4,000. I am so grateful. 4,000 likes. Have you all followed me? You should always follow Scotty McClure. Best places in Scotland, all of it, Jimmy. Uh, wanting more money for less people's of any conservative view. Uh, more money for less people. Who's wanting more money? Are you a Tory, Scotty? No offence, you know me. Olive, of course not. I'm apolitical. 
Everybody knows that. Heavens above water, silly question. No offence. Just a silly question. Follow us, guys. Allow me in the box, please. Lord Justice of Glasgow. Fantastic. And a big dinky do to you. Hi, Uncle Scotty. Hi, JFT9. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. BBC Alba. Uh, Domer by BBC Alba. The viability of a Scots state. Well, there we are. But remember, that's the British Broadcasting Corporation. Worth having a look at it. Uh, it's the SNP that's ruined this country. Well, shock the country's not ruined at all. Country's actually better than it's ever been. So, you know, uh, steady, steady. What's your take on the monkeypox? Well, um, it'll be interesting to see in case they're going to try and use it uh, as a control thing again. We'll see how it pans out. You're the first lord of TikTok, Olif. Olif, lovely to have you with us. And thank you very much. If you've just joined us, guys, you're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster. We're live on TikTok. This is the big one. Follow me as soon as you can. Uh, the Macron report is mentioned. It means secret. There we are. Well, the Macron report, you can read it. I've read it. Fantastic. It was at 1975 it came out. Um, SNP have ruined Scotland, not the country. In what way are you talking, Noodle? There we are. Give us an example. Ever been wild swimming? Oh, yes. Done the lot, me. Independence is hate-driven from old views past down by generation. No. Independence is driven by enlightened people. There is zero hate in it. Uh, independence is a love for Scotland, the opposite of hate. Uh, the haters are the ones that want us shackled to Westminster who know nothing about us. Thank you for 10 beautiful TikToks, Beachy, Beachy. Well, oh, here we go. The Linnaeus, the Rinses, Big Hindo. There we are. Uh, what have we got? Uh, Dinky do, Scotty La. Dinky do, Beachy, Beachy. This is a joy. By the way, my bus driver and me always sings. Uh, the, the hits mon, hoots mon, there's a moose loose. All if Scotty McLeod's theme tune for 30 years this month. Uh, you come up to the end of June. My first show was the 29th of June, 1992. The 29th of June, 1992. Celebrating 30 years of Scotty McLeod. As a success story. Uh, I just got in this room. Uh, where are you from, sir? Uh, Slut Club, we are from TikTok. And we're saying dinky do to you and every single one of you. This is the talk, talk show on TikTok. The world shares the same history. We have no control over our history. No, nobody says we did. But we need to be a bit accurate about our history. I can Tell you, Scotland, absolutely slap club. I'd love independence, but not sure we could. Of course we could, Aldo. Listen, we were independent for thousands of years. We've only been dependent, and they're actually dependent on us, for 314 years. Now then, we've got as long as we accept the Queen as our head of state, uh, then there's a chance. We have control over our future. That's all that matters. Absolutely, big Hindo. Dinky do, Scotty Drewski from North America. What a joy and a privilege to have you with us. This is just lovely. This is our Drewski. Dinky do, Scotty. Absolutely. I, but we went bankrupt. No, we didn't go bankrupt, Aldo Khan. King Billy, who was a very, very, very bad man pulled his money out of the Darian scheme. And all these poor souls were left to die in the isthmus of Panama. Yes, in South America. We need to work together for a better world. We don't live in forts or castles. No project, Char. But we need to do up our castles, reparation of damages. I would like to see Linlithgow Palace done up immediately because that was a stinking Billy. That was the Duke of Cumberland. That was the old king's brother that damaged that just before Culloden. The Panama Canal, absolutely noodle. There we are, King Joe. Fantastic. Uh, P. 
Ping Roots, thank you, Nudal. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. And uh, what's your opinion on Bobby Sands? Well, he starved to death in a hunger strike. And I think was he 29? You know, it's, uh, you know, it's a shame everything came to that. But, uh, you know, there's so many things on a divided country at that time. But there's a lot of healing going out now. And uh, hopefully Bobby can be part of the healing. Uh, so his death was not in vain. Barclay Castle was built to stop the Welsh invading that part of England. Well, uh, you have a look at all the castles that were built uh, by uh, the invaders. The English invaders invading Wales. Did you know British army groups, the Black and Tans, were invading Ireland? Of course I did. Now, they weren't really a British army group. Churchill sent them in. Uh, but it was the fault of the Republicans the Black and Tans were sent in because the Republicans were killing off their own people and killing off uh, police from the south. They were killing off the Garda as it is now, and people didn't want to join the Garda. Scotty, as a present for 30 years, I'll try and give £30. Oh, Kareem. Yes, please don't ever think you have to, because as we all well know, Scotty McClure is entirely free at the point of consumption. There we are. But, uh, you know, I don't want you. Uh, I don't want you spending your hard-earned Kareem. Do you think we should stop the sectarian marches? I actually do, Aldo, because I don't think there's any value in them at all. And I was just explaining last week how your most hardened loyalist Ulster person is Catholic. You know, it's Catholic, not Roman Catholic, but nevertheless Catholic. And they need to acknowledge that. This is how the IRA happened. Well, no, the IRA were going before that. The IRA kind of grew out of the Fenian Brotherhood. And the IRA, uh, I mean, they were well known. I mean, uh, a guy phoned me one night to tell me that his grandfather was in the IRA and the British Army paid his pension, apparently, when he came out of it. But I don't know if it was the IRA he was talking about or the Irish Army. I think it was probably the Free State Army. Uh, that was the thing, you see. So you had several armies around. Uh, I believe that damage to a country is consolidated, previously autonomous taxes, and then they're colonized. You are a legend, but poor old Ireland had tremendous poverty. If you think Scotland had poverty, poor Ireland down south, terrible, terrible poverty, long before the famine the conditions that these poor souls were living in. Good Lord, my voice recognition. Dinky do Slap Club. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all with us. And dinky do I say. There you are. You see, so the term Athenian was not an offensive term at all. It was an acknowledgement of the Fenian Brotherhood because they wanted to say, look, we want the British crown out of Dublin, you know, out of controlling Ireland. And one of the chancellors, I think it was Lord Fitzwilliam, whose descendants are with us to this day, was sent back from Ireland as chancellor or viceroy in the 1500s because they thought he was too pro-Catholic at the time. However you say it, I was trying to say I believe all countries should be freed from colonizing countries. Well, it depends how much good. You see, a lot of the countries, the British are very good at colonizing. They're not terribly good at leaving, uh, you know. <coughs> they tend to get out quick once the decision's made. But countries are a business. And effectively, you're selling that country on to the next buyer. They are past that in this globalist society. Well, no, Slap Club, I don't think we can ever really be a globalist society. I don't think there are any benefits apart from to just a handful of super rich who want to take everything in the world, but don't realize, as my father would say, you can only wear one suit. 
Uh, so we live in a global economy now where every country should be equally responsible for each other. A slap club, not necessarily. 30 years of the nation being educated and you're still going strong. Congratulations, Scotty. Betty, Joe, I thank you. As you well know, Scotty McClure, his brief is to inform, educate and entertain and to take the neutral high ground. Ideally, anyway, yes, ideally, anyway, but well, well, I see ideally globalization is far from ideal. Four and a half thousand likes, my beauties. Have you all followed me? You must start seriously following Scotty McClue. But we know greed will win out in the end over the good of the people. No, no, you see, greed will never win out. Because what these poor souls don't realise, they're after control. They're not really so much after the hard cash as the control. Owning all the land, growing the food, taking things away from people. That sort of idea, that's globalisation. You know, now the whole thing about it is you can never actually own anything. And you certainly can't take anything with you to the next life apart from your soul, your spirit, your knowledge and your understanding. I live in Wrexham, North Wales, and Wrexham has become a city, sharing the city with Bangor in Ireland. We love Bangor in Ireland. There's Bangor in Wales as well. The more localised the power is, the better. I agree, Big Sindo. Is the golden rule? He who has the gold makes the rule. Well, no, you see, because in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And they don't come much blinder, yes, no offence to anybody visually impaired, they don't come much blinder than those who think they sit at the top of the tree. They are virtually myopic. Yes, yes, absolutely. So there you have it. Believe me, I agree with everything you're saying, but reality works different. No slap club. Reality is what I'm talking about, you know. This is not a theory I'm giving you. These are facts. Watch and it shall be. It shall be opened unto you. I'm an idealist too, but the way the world's going, it's collapsing. No slap club. Bits of it are collapsing. What you will see is those who thought they had the power collapsing. Read your Bible, dear boy. There we are. It's all there. Whether you believe in the Bible or not, read the holy books. Um, and so it's not a question of being an idealist. It's just a question of being a factualist. Guys, I would have to done. I would have to go. I'm 15 years old and watched it live in America, watched the world collapse around me. Have you ever been to Bells Hill? Very much so. Uh, 50, not 15. What's your take on housing immigrants when we have millions homeless? Well, house as many people as you can. They have to stay somewhere. Uh, I have to dash. I love you all to bits. God bless you. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. And as we say in the best of circles, dinky-doo. ta lads. <laughs>